Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here in Boston, Massachusetts where they have a total of eight superchargers. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Let me give you my initial impressions of the supercharger and the surrounding area. Initial thoughts. First thought, you're on level P1 of the Prudential Center and you do have to pay to get in so make sure you bring your credit card, maybe a little bit of cash to come in and out if you want to charge here. And these are in addition to whatever charges they may charge you for supercharging here through Tesla. Initial feelings. I got an exciting feeling because you're underneath a shopping center. What I hear from locals is, is that they have good eats and drinks all walking distance within a block or two from this parking structure on the above ground. Initial concerns, not very concerned, very well lit as you could see, like I said, indoors. So if it's smoldering humid heat in the summertime, it kind of evens it out just a little bit. And definitely during the cold winter months, you might want to park here when the uh, weather's coming down on you. This will give you a little bit of environmental protection. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Please continue to show the support by hitting the like and subscribe. And if you know anyone that wants to hang out with us, make sure you share the content over with them. Thanks a whole bunch and hang tight for the guest review. I think it's a great place to explore. Um, there's a, like a ton of shops and like a ton of places to get food like anthropology, urban outfitters. Um, I like to come here to shop for clothes with friends. They have a restaurant called Joe's on Newberry um, which is like always a big hit. It's not too expensive but great food. Personally I'm a fan of the nachos. They have really good mocktails. A lot of my friends like the chicken pot pie or the salmon. And then Shake Shack, my personal favorite. It's, it's right on Newberry Street, which is just like a, a block, maybe two blocks down. What's your favorite thing you like to order at Shake Shack? Definitely the chicken shack sandwich and then a chocolate shake. So how often have you been here to the Prudential Center? I've been coming here since I was little. Um, long time. <laughs> Even if this place did not have Tesla chargers, you still would come back to the Prudential Center and hang out? Yes, definitely. Very cool. Awesome. So what's the longest road trip you've taken with your dad in his Tesla Model 3? I'm New York City, so five hours. Five hours. Did you have to stop and charge along the way? Yes, we did. Just once. Just once. And how was the ride? Uh, it was great. Like super smooth. Definitely like the best um, long road trip I've had. If Boston charged EV drivers a driving tax like they're trying to do where I'm from in California, mm -hmm. would you give that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? What do you think? Um, probably a thumbs down. <laughs> How come? Um, I mean, from what I can tell, it, it sounds like more money. <laughs> and that's, that's probably a thumbs down for me. <laughs> Very cool. Now I'm wondering, before we take off, Lucia, do you have any final words of wisdom for people coming to Boston or Boston locals charging here at the Tesla Charger? Um, I'd say it's worth it and you should definitely come. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. Okay? Thank you. I just need a thumbnail shot. Okay. Okay. Let's go like actually right here.